Hey guys, welcome to part three of the talent point system tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a simple way to be able to click on the actual spell or the talent itself and add points to the talent and make it so when you reach your maximum capacity of talent points that you won't be able to add more to it. And so what we're also going to be doing for this is we're going to be adding to a certain variable. So if you have a hit points variable or crit variable or something random like that. Um, every time you add a point you want to add some kind of stat to it to increase it more. So if you have let's say 10 health and if you click this talent and it increases your health to 20 and 30 and 40 and so on. Um, I'll be showing you guys how to set that up now. So you have to follow, follow all the previous tutorials to get to this point for new people watching but uh, yep we'll just go through and jump back into the code here and we'll start setting this up. Now we're going to need a couple more variables and so we'll label this current skill int. This is what we're going to be keeping track of when we go to click on a button we want to assign a variable to this and then we're going to activate a function for applying talent points and it needs to know which number we're adding since we're working with a lot of different um, a lot of different buttons once we start adding more skills so we're going to have to know exactly which one to mess with. So we'll just do, yeah, something simple like apply talents. And so in here we're going to want to create a simple switch statement. And we'll be grabbing our current skill. That way we tell which one we're going to be applying and then we want to make a case statement inside of here and we'll put one in here and so if it's one we want to let's create a new variable really quick so we can keep track of this um, we'll just say label this crit damage and this is just to keep track of that the talent point system is working you'll want to set up your own variables for your character for health crit all that different stuff. So in here we'll do crit damage plus equals and we'll say 10 and then we'll want to break. And now we could add multiple case statements in here if we wanted. Um, so this could be one so if we click on a certain button um, we can label that as one. So for let's see oh yeah I went ahead and I created a new variable which was skill number that I added so just save that off and then it should change and add skill number in here so we'll set this to 1 and what that'll do is in here when we click on whichever button it is it'll grab that number and plug it into current skill and then current skill will go into here and it'll check which number it is um, that's set in this variable. So we'll do something something simple here that we need to check. So we're going to be taking a couple more different uh, skills from here. So let's see. I believe skill points, yep, yeah, skill points required. So if skill points required is less than, and then we're going to want to uh, less than skill points added. Or um, let me think real quick. No, it's going to have to be the other way around. Skill points added is less than skill points required. So pretty much here we're checking as long as we have below the skill points we'll be able to add. And so we're going to want to add to skill points added. Which will just be plus plus. And then we want to set current skill is equal to. And then we want to grab our new variable skill number and it'll just equal to that. And now we're going to have to go in here and also grab skills 
just so we know um, which one we're referencing from. Because since we're going to be having multiple skills, actually, let's see, skill points added. Yes. And, okay, current skill. And skill number. So that one can be left alone. That one's fine since it's just in here. But for all these other ones, we need to reference which one we are accessing. And this will just be zero for now. Um, when we have more skills, we're going to be going through a loop. But for now, we're just referencing one particular uh, skill that we're going to be messing with. And at the beginning, this is going to be set to zero, so it's not going to do anything. And then it should get changed to one so it can access this. Some other things that we're going to do is add in here a debug dot log. And let's see, I guess we could do crit damage just so we can keep track of what it is exactly. I will do plus crit damage. And we'll hit control S to save that. And depending on how many skill points, um, we also want to add a and and. And if skill points is greater than zero. So if we have enough skill points and it's not over the maximum skill points that we we can have, um, we're going to activate this. And so it'll add that number and add our skill points in here. So hit control S to save again. And let's see what's up with this real quick. Hopefully that was the only issue. Yeah, I guess switch just need to be uh, turned down, or lowercase. And so we can see this now. We're going to bring up our debug. And we'll clear this. And let's see. I guess we want to check this to see if it's actually being called. We might need to change a couple of numbers up. Something may be wrong. Um, I just want to make sure that this is being called or which one. So we're just doing a little bit of debugging here. Control S, run this again. So test is being called, but we can see that test 2 is not being called. So there's something up with this that's not allowing it to work correctly. Um, so let's go check this out right here. Skill points required and added. Added needs to be less than required. Oh, and skill points is greater than 0. Okay, we don't have any skill points. That makes sense. So Let's give ourselves five skill points so we can test this out. Test two, test two, test two. Okay, so it adds four to four, and we're getting one more issue where, um, for some reason, the other piece of code is not being called. That is because we did not call the actual function for it. So I guess this is a good tutorial, and I'm showing you guys how to do a little bit of debugging if you're having issues with your code. Uh, it happens once in a while, and having a couple of issues with it now. And so every time I press this, crit damage 10, crit damage 20, 30, 40, and now it doesn't call it anymore. So you can see the maximum uh, crit chance I can have is 40 right now. And it's not using any more skill points. And for that fact, I should also add in one more thing in here. Um, what we're also going to be calling. Um, you're going to need to grab your skill points. And since each time we use one, we want to subtract, we'll just do a simple minus minus. 
and it should subtract from our skill points as we go through here. But uh, yeah, we'll get into a little bit more advanced skill trees in the future. We're going to be adding a couple more stats. We're going to be going through four loops and replacing this zero with a different number. And we'll display each one, and each one will have their own different stats that they'll add. So we'll have crit damage, health, and different variables like that. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. Sorry I haven't been releasing new tutorials lately. I've been still focusing on my other game that I'm planning on releasing sometime soon in the future. But uh, I'll get around to try making more tutorials soon. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Later.